Just a, the same brawl from another angle. Uh, there were a lot of people with their uh, <laughs> iPhones and their uh, various other smartphones recording this thing. I want to go to Mark Iglar, who's not only a fantastic criminal defense attorney, but a father of three. In fact, one of his uh, children's with him. You heard what Artie said. What's your reaction to, well, sometimes you got to stand up when somebody's like shouting nasty things at your kid? Well, listen, Arnie is not wrong because there's no right or wrong in my world. He's entitled to his opinion. Would I Wait a second. There's precious? no right or wrong in your world? That's a shocker well, to me. Well, you know what? I, I, proceed, I try not proceed. to. Jane, I proceed. try not to judge. You know, Arnie <laughs> can do what he wants to do. I teach my offspring, my precious tax breaks, that when you go up to someone, it's okay to show them love. And if they don't show you love back, you walk away. Your ego is not your amigo. All right. Arnie, do you want to clarify your position on this? Jane, again, I'm, I'm not saying you start duking it out with the other fans or with, with the other parents, but I've seen things and I've heard things that just, it wants to make your blood boil. It really does. I teach my kid after every game, you shake your coach's hand, the opposing coach's hand, the referee and the other team, and he does it to a T. So maybe sometimes I can learn from my own kid. But when you hear the words and you hear the comments, I just say sometimes you just want to say, hey, Pipe down. There's no reason for that. You can't be saying that in front of a bunch of kids. Sometimes you feel like you have to stand up for your kid. Jane, don't, don't you ever feel like that? That you, you, you had enough and you hit your boiling point? Jane, in Arnie's defense, Mark has a cute kid sitting with him. So Arnie's at a disadvantage right there when you compare <laughs> what he says to what Mark kid. says. So come on, Arnie, kid. get a kid with you. Yeah, and that's here's it. my 14 year old, and I teach him. I say, you shake everybody's hand and, and look up and, oh, and you feel there, oh, you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no, I, listen, I get it. If somebody attacks your kid verbally, but that's what I'm saying. There's a lack of civility at these games, and people have to realize it's just a game, and the whole point of it is to teach children what they are going to experience in real life which is not necessarily that everything's fair. Maybe the wind's going in the wrong direction or your coach is a little, oh, biased against you and favors some other kid. Uh, that's life, and that's what sh they should be learning, not this win at all costs. Let me go to Willie May in Florida. Willie May, your question or thought, Willie May? <laughs> Willie May. All right, I, I tell you what. Uh, I'm looking at this game, and I'm seeing also parents living through their kids a little too much. I, get a life, people. It's nice that your kids play sport, but I think that some people get wrapped up too much in the activities of their children. It's also tied to social status in the community. It's bragging rights if your kid is... Uh, the winner of a game or does the, 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 the scoring touchdown. So all of that is about ego, 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 ego. You're seeing a lot of ego here. And remember, what you really want to teach kids is humility.